automated AI at restaurant. Here it comes, boys. Flippy the chef makes Spud spectacular. Flippy the chef. God, man. I love living in the fucking future. Isn't it nice? Flippy the chef. This automated grill gives the meat its sizzle. Wow. As this restaurant goes robotic. For Look this at that. Will take about 120 seconds. Kelly 120. Express, That's two minutes. First AI powered eatery. There's new technology outside the kitchen too. A cheeseburger. Look at this, bro. Like they don't even they don't even have English in there. Like they don't need to speak English, bro. They just speak Tetris to it, and it does it right. Inside the kitchen too. A cheeseburger. Order Look at that. Kiosks. By the way, what the fuck? Do you see this shit? California. Eight dollars. I wonder if you have to tip. Use facial recognition to remember you, your like favorite no food, socks. and how you like to pay. Oh, wow. Then watch the robots work. No humans required. We can get enough people. I wonder if they would have a thing. You know what they should do? They should have a thing where, like, they can do facial recognition, and the amount of, like, neck folds and chin fat that you have would indicate whether, like, if they uh, suggest, like, a healthy option for you, or if they suggest, like, you know, like, let's say you have, like, three neck folds, and it's, like, or three chins, and it's, like, you might be interested in the extra-large milkshake with bacon in it. Come out to work on fryers and, and grills, and they're dangerous jobs. And this uh, automation helps solve a lot of those issues. 62% mm -hmm. of restaurants report being understaffed. Industry yep. experts not, say not most anymore. of those unfilled jobs could be done by robots. Absolutely. And in California, where the minimum wage for that. most fast food workers... <laughs> oh, I know why they got rid of them. Bro, 20 fucking dollars? Uh-uh, bro. <laughs> Welcome to Flippy World now. Fuck that shit. Should monitor weight as well. Yeah, you step on a scale and it tells you what you want to eat. Yeah, if you know, you know exactly. Yeah, we ain't paying you shit. Twenty dollars an hour, which is like you think that's a lot, but if it's eight dollars for a burger, that's only like two and a half burgers an hour. That's not that many burgers. You're not even thinking about fries. Where's the drink? will soon be $20 an hour. Fewer yeah. workers equals cost savings. Mm -hmm. Dan Ives That's is with right. Wedbush Securities, a wealth management firm. Cost savings, right. And that way, the prices go down on the cheeseburgers, right? And it's not $8. Maybe it's like like three and a half, right? That's They're going to they're gonna lower the... They will. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure they will. They just haven't updated it yet. <laughs> $7.99. Once the minimum wage went to 20, that's the bell going off. More and more yeah. focus on spending on AI. Because look, that's inflationary. That's the problem. You can't necessarily pass I feel that. like that's good. That's a good thing. Like, nobody wants to work in these jobs. These jobs fucking suck dick. These are horrible. It's like working in the kitchen is super stressful, and you're getting paid shit. Nobody respects you. It's awful. It's like you're basically losing in every aspect. The job is stressful, nobody cares, and you're not getting any money? That sucks. Flippy can cook 250 pounds of french fries an hour. You hear that? And he doesn't even know what the word union is. It's not programmed into him. Sick days? Uh-uh. Burger bought 100 patties. At these restaurants are That's very, right. very busy at peak times, and every second that gets added to somebody waiting in drive Socialism. is a revenue opportunity for that restaurant. Is it he doesn't know what that means. Jobs? That's uh, not what we've seen at times. And every second that gets added to somebody waiting in drive through is, is a lost revenue opportunity yeah. for that restaurant. Is it costing people their jobs? Of course it fucking is. Don't try to talk around it. Of course it is. A hundred percent. Just fucking say it, man. That's uh, not what we've seen. Um, uh, it's really here to, to help people. Humans. Yeah, it's to help the executives make the money because they don't want to pay her 20 bucks to do that. I wish that, like, the people would just say, like, yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, of course of course, we're trying to get the fuck... Of course we're trying to get rid of their job. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean is this happening? 
No shit. Why? Why? The reason why is that they're worried that, um, like, the unwashed masses of mainstream media consumers will think that Terminator, you know, the movie, is real and try to shut this down. That's why. They're worried about regulation. Yeah, exactly. So they have to pretend like the thing that we all know is happening isn't happening. But we're playing games. Cali Express will put the finishing touches on orders. Mm -hmm. For customers, the price of the meals are competitive. As for taste... What, competitive with what? Gucci? Eight dollars? Gonna affect the quality and the taste. I would say yes, in a good way. They're competitive because with Balenciaga. burger is being cooked precisely the same way every time. Uh -huh. Time will tell whether AI takes over kitchens everywhere. That. Uh, so this is one thing, is that they need to, if Burger King adds this, they need to have a RNG randomizer that will, out of every 100 fries that are made, one of those meals will have a... Um, onion ring on top of the fries but it's a one in 100 chance will be up to the public to chew on oh, God. <laughs> joy benedict cbs news pasadena california there it is boys this is the this is the future right here is the robots are going to be doing everything and then people will be living in pods eating bugs owning nothing they're going to be attached to a VR Neuralink headset and their, uh, you know, mind has been warped so much that the only sexual gratification that they can receive is from animal human hybrids that aren't real. And they're not even going to know what they, how old they are. They're not going to know anything. They're not going to know how to walk. They're not going to have to do anything anymore. Because the robots are just going to do everything with this Tetris language shit. And all we're going to do is sit around and be fat, lazy pieces of shit until, uh, you know, something happens. So, Wally, would you? I mean, who says I'm not already? I'm so happy for this. I really am. The only crazy thing about this, to be honest, is the fact that it's still $8 for a fucking cheeseburger. Like, I, I love how they're like, oh, yeah, we're making AI to cut costs. And then the cut cost is an $8 cheeseburger. Keep in mind, this is not with bacon, and it's not a double cheeseburger. I remember one time I got an entire meal. I, this was 2007, 2008. In, I, I was in high school, and I went to Burger King, and I got a double cheeseburger with bacon on it. And it was like $9, and it was the whole meal. That's crazy. With wages going down, will the burgers go down in price? Will the chain upkeep still cost more than $20 an hour? Well, why would they... It, like, the thing is, people... If they've already got people paying 8 bucks now, like, why would they Why would they fuck that up? Y'all remember 4 for 4? Yeah, you get four, uh, 4 chicken nuggets for $4 now. Yeah, that's, that's the way it is. Uh, I remember I went with Emmy and we got some food. And I went and I said, where's the dollar menu? Or sorry, where's the value menu? I was at uh, at Wendy's. We went to Wendy's. And I said, what's the value menu? You know what the girl there said? What's that? We don't have that anymore. She said, do you want a small fry? I said, how much is that? She says, two seventy nine. do Don't be acting like a peasant. You're a Chad, bro. It's not that I can't afford fries for two dollars and 79 cents i can afford it okay i can afford fries but damn that shit's expensive